Tony's the Trains. I'm Randy. And I'm D-Dog, and this is Channel 97 News. Now let's check out lunch with Nolan. Today for lunch, we have a popcorn chicken roll with a pork chop and a biscuit, which are vegetables being mashed potatoes with gravy, buttery corn, and your fruit being fresh orange with mixed fruit and your choice of milk. Thanks for that lunch report, Nolan. Let's check out sports with Leah. Thanks, guys. Today for sports here in New Century Baseball and Girls Soccer play on Monday against North Moore, and both teams won. Baseball won 7-3, and Girls Soccer was 7-2. They are back in action again against the rival team, Cranes Creek. Don't forget, it's also the Pancake Supper. That's it for sports. Back to you on the studio. Thanks for that sports report, Leah. Now switch gears and check out This Day in History with Dixie. On March 20th, 1861, President Abraham Lincoln's sons, Willie and Tad, are diagnosed with the measles, adding to the president's many troubles, as few U.S. presidents worked as hard in office as Abraham Lincoln did during the Civil War. Besides managing his generals and the war effort, Lincoln had to deal with prospective office seekers, foreign affairs, and the basic functions of the government. The president's third and fourth sons, Willie, born in 1850, and Tad, born in 1853, offered Lincoln a welcome, respite from the rigors of the execute office. Thanks for those historical facts, Dixie. Sounds interesting. Now, let's check out weather with Galen. Thanks, guys. Today for weather, there will be a high of 68 and a low of 43, and the rest of the week will be in the high 60s and mid 50s. That's all for weather. Back to you on the studio. Thanks for that weather report, Galen. Now, let's check out today's special announcements. The Pancake Supper is this Thursday. Make sure you stop by the intersection and get wristbands to attend. They are $8 each. The wristband gets you into the girls' soccer game and the boys' baseball game and gets you a pancake dinner. That's the best deal in town. Make sure you come out and join us. $8 at the hub or at the door. Are you interested in trying out for cheer at Union Pines? Workouts and tryouts are coming up. Workouts will start after spring break, and tryouts will be held May 20th to the 24th. Make sure to use this QR code to get all the details. Look forward to seeing you there. Until 1974, in the USA, women were unable to open a bank account or a line of credit without a man co-signing. The official services industry was led by men, so A women came together to turn everything around by opening their own women's bank. Carl Green, Judy Wagner, Larray Oren, Gail Shredler, Wendy Davis, Joe Burns, Beverly Martinez, and mostly founded the banks, boarded by each pitch in $1,000. On July 14, 1978, the Women's Bank opened for business. People stood in line down the street in downtown Denver to deposit their money. The first day, deposits extended $1 million. Thanks for those reports. Well, that looks like it's all for today, Centurions. Don't, Don't have, have a good day. day. Have a great day. day. Welcome back to Adley in the Ballet. I'm McKinley, and I'm here with Jackson. What sport do you play? Baseball. What grade are you in? We all fly in the you play? Second base. How's your season going so far? Uh, we're doing good. We're doing well right now. That's it for Athlete Spotlight.